Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a day where we get this shop cleaned out and get moved in. So I'm gonna try and get the inside of the shop pressure washed. It's a two stall shop, so I'm gonna pressure wash and degrease the first section. Then we'll move all the tools over to that side and then we'll try and wash the other side and get this car lift pressure wash as well. So you guys hang out let's get this shop set up. I gotta pull everything out again, get it pressure washed and then hopefully get moved in. I'm so over not having a shop. I, I kind of feel lost with that one. I'm sure all you mechanics know what I'm talking about. But enjoy, let's get to it. All right, so absolutely first thing is a must. Let's get some music going. ready to pressure wash what I got is some degreaser and I'm going to lightly hit the walls and try and hit the ceiling a little bit the ceilings not too bad but with the pressure washer I'm just gonna try and mist it and see if I can clean up some of the cobwebs and then I'll spray some degreaser on these walls and try and just keep away from all the outlets I'll wipe the outlets like afterward and then we'll let the degreaser sit for five or ten minutes and then we'll pressure wash it and hopefully we can get this thing pretty clean That's one side. Um, it came out pretty good. It's a little, needs a little more degreaser, I think. But you can see this is before and this is after. So it came out pretty good. I got half of it done. I did a quick um, floor cleaning in this thing just to kind of get the dirt out because this winter, I think I'm just going to pull everything out and do an epoxy floor in here. But it definitely helps when you wet it first a little bit and let it soak in and then come back and hit it again. It kind of loosens up that dirt. And I'm using a simple green on the wall, so it's kind of eco-friendly. But yeah, we're getting there. All right, outfit number two. I was soaking wet, went and had some lunch. I changed. I got some flip-flops on now because my boots were already soaking wet. And I'm going to get the exterior of these doors. I'm going to close these, pressure washer exteriors, roll them back up, and then start moving my tools over to the uh, clean side now. Got the wifey down here. She's gonna help me start organizing and getting this thing set up.
So I got everything about moved in tool wise. Got my little homies down here to help me get it finally set up today. I brought the bike in. We got the go-kart already on the motorcycle lift because we already blew a tire out on that thing. So we're already working on that. Um, as you can see here, I'm trying to get it set up to where the car lift area right behind me will stay empty always. So that's where I can always pull a car in. And then on this side over here, I'm gonna have my um, auto parts, motorcycle parts on this wall back here. That way they're kind of out of the way in storage because the lift is right there. So there's not a whole lot of room over there to work anyway. So that's gonna be my storage parts wall. Um, the back, this shelf right here is gonna be like my active project, you know, working shelf. So whether it's like rebuilding a carburetor or working on some wood project for the wifey, like a table or something like that. I'll always have this center space open to be able to do that. So I'm gonna get all my kind of home handy handyman tools right here so they're easy access like uh, nails, saws, hammers, you know, your standard tools. And then this side over here, right here where the boys are, you gotta say what's up? Mm -hmm. What's up? This is gonna be the lounge. So we're gonna hook this up. You see I got my old yellow, yellow fin tuna I caught back there. We're gonna hang it on the wall. Put some cool stuff hanging up, uh, bring a refrigerator down uh, soon. That way we can have some cold beverages and then just set these chairs up on this spool and this will just be like kind of like the lounge corner. Behind me on this side is gonna be my mechanic tools and my fabrication corner. So we got the compressor over there. I got all the welders set up right here. This is where the previous owner had his uh, power hooked up anyway. So he already has like the 220 and all that accessible on this wall. So this will be the fab wall and this stall right here. And when I'm grinding, doing a lot of metal grinding, I tend to like to do that outside because it just makes a mess. So I'm gonna weld some wheels on my welding table and then we can just roll that out here on this pad and like grind away and weld or do whatever outside so we won't like smoke out the shop. So yeah, it's come along pretty good. It's taken like probably two or three weeks now to get this thing set up but I got a couple more things I'm gonna get set up and the boys are gonna help me with that. All right, the nails, stack those up, put them on our workbench up over there. Memphis, those are paint cans. Let's bring those over here in our uh, painting cabinet. Oh, hey bud, look, hey, check this out. Memphis, let's use this for our paint, you think? This cabinet? Because uh, uh, that, I think, will work better. So that can be like all our, sp all our spray paint. I don't have one on me, but. Okay, here, just use the hammer or something. Let's put all the saws on this black shelf like we did at the old place. You got that, Wyatt? So all the saws you see, let's put them right there. Memphis, you got the paint cans right there. And then we'll see how that goes. And then we can use this locker over here for different stuff. All right, so we got, luckily these metal lockers right here, all this metal shelving was left here. So that's gonna work out great. This down here was left. So we just gotta figure out how we're gonna set it up. I'm sure it's gonna take me a minute to get comfortable but it's slowly coming together. That is a sand blaster. Sand? Blaster. <laughs> that can go in the metal cabinet over there in the locker. Hot, high heat. Looking good, dude. Mm -hmm. All right, the hammers, uh, they go in the bottom of the roll cart. Got it? Good deal. Memphis, you got a couple more years to go, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna hang this thing up right here. So we have some power. Yeah, why don't you guys hold this up for me?
it. I thought about getting a rope and tying around the fin to back like this, like a shark, and then it hangs down. Mom's got teeth. I never said it. bit me in the finger. Oh, Lord, I can't even see what the hook is. I How's it look? Tell me when. Is that good? Yeah, I can break it and drop it. Like, is that good? I can bear or yeah. what? Yeah, uh, let's go. That's good. No, okay. no, yeah, a little up. A little face, yeah. Is that yeah, good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, fish is up. Uh, lounge looks a little bit cooler now. Um, if you're curious about the fish, the reason I have that um, at graduation after high school, my dad took me and a couple of our friends and their dads took them deep sea fishing for like a two day trip and I caught that and it was like 12 pounds from the state record I think at the time it was like 192, 190, 192 pounds that uh, yellowfin tuna weighed and it took us like it was like three and a half hours to reel it in so it was pretty cool so they ended up mounting it for us so yeah I've had that since high school like 2002 that gives you some age but yeah it's pretty fun so we have our the shop pretty much set up as you guys see we got our shelves everything is still kind of a mess but well, i think we're going to get around to it i think we kind of got it laid out the way we want we got a little more work to do in the lounge and just getting everything fine-tuned but we got one more surprise from lowe's uh, back on father's day when they gave us a gift card uh, we made a purchase the other day um, with some of the gift card and we actually got a DeWalt 10 piece toolkit. So we're gonna get that thing out, and get it opened up and it's all battery powered. That way around here, I won't have to like drag around an extension cord or a generator when I get some of my work done. So let's open that thing up. I wanna show you guys what all is in it. All right, so we got the 10 piece combo kit from DeWalt. I'm a huge fan of DeWalt. I have the the drill and driver set already and I love them. I've had them for like two years now. So since the shop and the new house is kind of a little bit of a distance away from each other, now my old set can stay up at the house and this new set can be just for the shop and like working around here. So it has your drill, driver, has a circular saw, um, has a sawzall, a radio flashlight, has a vacuum cleaner, a blower, has a um, multi-tool, and it has a hand grinder in it. So this should be awesome. That's pretty cool. Let's I think see what we got. Surprising when we open them. All right. Awesome. So we got the driver. New Let's pull this over here and stack them all up. We got the drill. Yep. Awesome. New saw. Circular saw. Well, that's cool. It's got your guard lock. It's got your depth adjuster on it. You can art, uh, Sweet. It a oh, it's got a flashlight. flashlight. That's cool. LED. Yes. Super excited about yeah. this. We got the angle grinder. Nice. That's going to be nice. Not have to drag around a cord all the time. Oh, what's this? All right. Never mind. This is so it came with a saw blade. So that's the first bag. Memphis, will you open that? Oh, let's look at the second bag. It's a speaker. All right. Nice. And I got a multi-tool. That's going to be awesome. It has a push release for your blade. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's a speaker. Nice. Dude, that is awesome. Bluetooth speaker. Looks like with a... Oh, so you can plug it in yeah. and also run it on a battery. Oh, so that's awesome. Yep. Cool. So you got a charger, the handle for the angle grinder, yep. two batteries, the oscillating. It's cool. So it came with the oscillating blade for the multi tool. All right. And then what is it? Oh, this is the blower. Yes. And this is the whole blower. So it came with 
the battery powered blower. Looks like. Daddy, will you let me use that blower to blow the leaves? Brr. I'll blow it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll blow All right, and it also came with a little shop vac, which I was, I didn't know they had these in the kit, but this is like kind of a spot um, shop vac you can use. You can pull your hose out and kind of like, this would be perfect for detailing the car or cleaning up after the boys. And you're out, oh nice, it has a little filter and everything. Nice. Probably the tool that will get used the most in this kit. Isn't that the isn't that a metal? It is the sawzall. Oh, I thought that was the metal cutter. No. So here's the sawzall. Nice, right, so I'll probably use that the put, most. Can you put a battery in here? Here. Or is there already? <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the kit. Here's the full kit. Um, just full disclosure, I got this on sale. I did get it with the Lowe's gift card that I got from Lowe's for Father's Day. Uh, originally, I think it was like eight fifty or something. I'll put the link below in the description. Um, it was on sale for five hundred and forty dollars, I think. Which, considering everything you get, I mean, that's pretty dang cheap. You're almost at like fifty dollars a tool with your batteries, your charger, and all that other stuff. So. I'm gonna use all this stuff <laughs> quick, guys. But how does it work? I wanna go use it, I wanna use all right, it. Alright, close up. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try. All right. I wanna use it for the So I will use all this stuff for sure and give it a good beating. Like usual with all my tools, and I'll let you guys know how it works. Anyway, here's the shop and hopefully you guys will stay tuned for many 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 future videos in the shop thank you guys for watching we will catch you on the next one please like and subscribe thank you okay, Daddy. let's see how it yeah, i'm gonna read all that Daddy, where's the other battery oh dewalt speaker boom uh-oh what Dang, sounds good. Not bad. There's a place where the sun does shine and the birds keep on the farms of the yonder. That's the home of my channel. That's in the sky. This is awesome. That's all I came with? Oh, how sweet <laughs> when we yeah. meet on the golden streets of the great right white valley. These okay. old chains around that. my feet. It's got air power. Look. Ah! Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.